Hey guys, it's Bryony. So I decided that today I would do a bit of an updated storage video for you guys. Um, had a few requests and I posted on my Facebook and Instagram today what we wanted to see and this was one of the requests. And I figured I've actually almost been in my flat for a year now and I don't think I've shown you guys like how I've set up my cloth pad storage. So I figured I'd do it in this today's video. But I'm going to try not to show you too much of my room because it is an absolute pigsty in here. So this is my wardrobe and as you can see there's me, um, the camera. Uh, please excuse the mess around here. But yeah, this is like my little cloth pad area. It's in the right hand side of my wardrobe um, next to like my all my Lolita and anime dresses. But yeah, anyway, going on to it. You've seen these drawers before in some other videos, but I have all my cloth pads, pantyized and light pads here, regular pads, heavy pads, and overnight and cloth pads, also some wet bags here. Down the side of it here, this whole like level, to be honest, is all kind of um, devoted to periods, <laughs> apart from the capizzi bag at the back there, which I'm not actually sure what's in there. Here I have all my um, disposable panty liners that I sometimes use. For some reason, my um, camera isn't focusing on them. The NatraCare organic panty liners, just the curved ones. I tend to get these from Avon and Cole now. Um, the other stuff and then this is a pencil I borrowed from my mum which I need to take back um, and then there's also like a wet bag at the back here plus an information leaflet on one of the pads I am currently reviewing so going into like I guess the drawers um, right so these are the panty liners panty liners go all across here and then my light flow pads kind of squashed in the back here I don't tend to use light flow that much anymore um, hence the reason at the back there, but I do occasionally. Then onto my regulars, I have quite a few regulars stuffed in here, and uh, these are what I use on my moderate days. My heavy pads, not quite as many heavy pads. I kicked quite a few out um, and got rid of them, the ones I weren't wasn't using. And then finally, top drawer. So just yeah, like my overnight pads down here. Um, menstrual cups all kind of clumped together here and at the back tucked down there are some um, wet bags and other storage methods for my cloth pads. This top drawer doesn't like to shut properly. But that is where I store my main cloth pads. So the last place that I store some of my uh, menstrual stuff is in this like set of drawers I have here which is a ton of mess on top. These are where I tend to store like the things, the products I don't use as much or like the extras to stuff. So um, let me start at this end I think. Like I said there's a lot of mess in my room so please excuse it. So um, these are actually the disposables that I found buried at the back of my wardrobe at my parents house and I recently grabbed because I thought if I have um, like refugees staying with me or you know visitors that need a uh, pad or something I can always just grab um, it's probably a good idea to have something here and also you just never know this was actually the first packet of disposables that my mum bought me before I even started my period like this is such old packaging here always ultra fresh um, and they're still in there and yeah still that horrible chemical smell <laughs> um, but yeah I think I got these when I was like 10 so they're nine years old this thing and then in here, this is just a pack. I gave some cloth pads for Maze to try with a menstrual cup, but she never actually got around to it, um, which fair enough. She had a lot of other stuff on her plate. These are sort of all the, um, there's a few random disposables that I use for testing in videos. A couple of pads down here that I don't tend to use as much or that I need for videos. Um, I don't use as much. There's a lunette wipe thing there. Let me check these over. And then in here, or all the menstrual cups I don't really tend to use much. I think my moon, moon cup is in there somewhere. Eva cup, spoon cup, ham cup. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few actually buried down there. The majority of my cups I do use from time to time, but the ones that I really just didn't get on with or I just really don't think I'm likely to use, I will store down here. Sorry, it's my phone. We put that away. And then finally over here is my lunette bag, which I kind of use for demonstration stuff. Um, so yeah, it's just in there, I'm not entirely sure what's in here, oh yeah, like a, the damaged cup and stuff, um, there's some pamphlets in there, yeah, some Melina pamphlets, I just stuffed a lot of stuff, things in there, 
And then my sea sponge tampons are at the back here because I don't tend to use them very much. Um, and here's like a demonstration kit for one of the um, Africa, South African pad companies that are like helping keep girls in school over there. Um, I gave some of those pads originally to Maze and I tend to give them out to people who sort of need them when um, I get to that stage. But yeah, that is what is in my final drawer. So there is also some other stuff still at my parents' house. Um, but this is the vast majority of the things that I have and where I store them in my house. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please subscribe. Don't forget you can get cloth pads and menstrual cups from my website down below, Precious Stars. We've also just restocked recently. So if you're waiting for the Brie and Lana small cup to come out, and that has just been restocked now too. But thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>